Is it going to be a fourth year in a row where Muguruza has to withdraw from this tournament? It doesn't look good for her, does it? Badly cramping. I'm afraid she can't receive help because she's midway through a game. Just around the corner so, to, get, to take every precaution. Oh, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Saying exactly what I just said in commentary. As far as I know by the rules, there's no trainer allowed on court for cramps. So a decision to be made here. Thomas Sweeney. Kelso, the director also onto court. Worrying times for the top seed here in Brisbane. That's that she looked like she'd done enough to win. Set and 5 2 up. Failed to serve it out. It has been a grueling and really entertaining affair. Is Krunic going to get another top 10 win to her name? Feel for Muguruza. She's invested so much into this match. Krunic is well aware that this, I think, should mean that she's the winner. This treatment is not allowed for cramp during a game. I just wonder whether she missed it, a, a trick. Rather than calling a coach out, calling a trainer out at the last change events to loosen her up, to help her try and get through this game, knowing that she was cramping. This was a moment in her hand. Tough to watch, isn't it? Strikes again in Brisbane for Garbini Muguruza. What a shame. For a fourth straight year, she's had to retire from the tournament home. This time due to cramping. But you have to give so much credit to Alexandra Krunic. What a performance from the world number 53. And 30 15. That was not an easy smash. So much on the line. Took it in the air and was able to finish. This is when I'm sure she wishes she could reach back and pull a serve like Serena or Venus out, try and get one or two easy points to end this match. Serious cramping there. Good. Obviously, in tremendous pain.
And she was trying to avoid this for so long, getting ice massages from the trainers. Good by the shooting delay game. Well, my belief is she's gotten treatment for the cramps too many times. She can no longer be treated for the cramps, so she just got a warning for delay of game. You can only be treated for the same injury, I believe it's three times. So Pam Whitecross of the WTA Tour coming out on court to tell her that and telling her that she's got to get back up and play. And that is tough to watch as the cramps are taking effect. So here she is, 30 all. Just pushing it to the limit and beyond. And how much can she endure? sense that she's got to win these next two points if it were to go five all really couldn't finish the match she's the really just hoping for another couple errors from Zonareva free point to break the tape. Advantage was acting. Somehow finding a way through, fighting off cramps, fighting off Vera Zvonareva. What an effort, what a victory. Just a remarkable effort. To Rankings, and one of the reasons why is the ground strokes that she can produce from the baseline, that backhand winner. Just one example of the power she has from that wing.
Zelenki goes down hard, and she might have hurt her right ankle. She's in a bit of trouble. The drop shot from Zvonareva caught her off guard, and she tries to close out, and she is in obvious pain. Now, she scrambled and tried to make a slide, and it looked like he, she caught her right foot on this clay surface. One of the Sony Erickson WT Tour primary health care providers has come out in Caroline in obvious agony. And she went down hard and rolled over that right ankle as her father looks on, obviously concerned. That uh, was a, the longest point of the match and quite an extended rally. But the drop shot from Vera Zvonareva as Zvonareva comes to the other side of the net to offer up her assistance and see how her opponent is doing. And we'll see. They will take Caroline to the sideline and address the concerns of that right ankle, whether or not she will be able to continue or not. Right now, things do not bode well for the Danes. Here's the drop shot that drew Wozniacki forward. Now she's going to try to get up, make an effort, and try to slide and stop. And you just see all of her weight go over as the right ankle rolls over on her. And that is a dicey and scary proposition for any athlete. But she thought she was going to get a bit more of a slide on this clay surface. This green clay just catching and her entire body rolling over. And you can see the obvious pain immediately. Мячом. Ну, проехали этот момент с 0 30 вперед. В гейме выходит немецкая теннисистка. Стоя. Что такое? Давайте посмотрим, что это в конце концов будет. Вы знаете. Ай, ой, 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 какой голеност. Ой, 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 ой. Мне даже самому больно стало. Подвернула, как здорово ногу, а? Да, вы знаете, совершенно неожиданно. Не, не хочу сказать на ровном месте. Место-то тут не очень ровное. Ну, особых э, эмоций, крика, конечно, мы не видели. Но посмотрите еще раз. С, ой, становится... Смотреть страшно. Ну, как мужественно переносит страшную боль. Вот, видите, тренеры со мной полностью согласны. Вика тут что-то даже пытается помочь в роли медсестры. Лед, 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 лед сразу же. Это самое спасительное. Ну, мы прервемся, потому что смотреть это просто страшно и больно. Давайте прервемся на... Рекламу. Немецкие тренеры. Здесь они играли, кстати, с австралийками. И вот многие тренеры остались на этот турнир. Нет, ну какой тут не до тенниса? Тут, видите, как голеностоп вывернулся. Здесь уже не до тенниса. Лаура Чикарелли мелькнула в проходе. Мелькнула в проходе она супервайзер этого турнира. Да, мужчины, это мужское дело тут надо удержать. А, собственно, Вика должна вернуться на корт. Должна вернуться. И Барбара туда же пошла смотреть, что случилось. 
Ну что ж, вполне объективно публика приветствует Вику Азаренко. Сейчас будет интервью с ну, победительницей. Она хоть и... Some time to assess exactly what the injury is, figure out a way to treat it. Once the treatment starts, it's about three minutes, but it, it does at, at times take a while for the trainer to figure out exactly what the problem is, what injury has occurred. Roddick Stepanek with his hamstring retired. It looks like they are going to go ahead and tape this up. We'll see. If it's Ladies focused and more on the hamstring, excuse me, the Achilles out. or the ankle. And we'll get a sense these first few points and what percentage Caroline's able to move at. Is that such a conversation with Caroline? I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what her boyfriend's plans were today, but she doesn't have Rory McIlroy up in the box at the moment for some reassurance I've been with her over the last week or so I was watching her first round win but whose bow um, is a nice hockey player that you will have heard Alex of, but, Ovechkin yeah plays plays in Washington um, apparently not allowed to use the players gym because he doesn't have the right accreditation and she was fairly cheesed off when she saw Rory McIlroy in there a couple of days ago it's not world stopping news What impact would this have on you as another player, Lindsay? Mm -hmm.